Have you ever wondered how plastic film is manufactured? Today we're diving into one of the most common plastic manufacturing techniques, plastic extrusion. So what exactly is plastic extrusion? It's a process used to create continuous products with a uniform cross-section. Think pipes, tubes, sheets, films, and custom shapes. In this process, a thermoplastic material such as powder, pellets, or granules is melted uniformly and then forced under pressure through a die. In screw extrusion, this pressure is generated by the rotation of a screw against the walls of a barrel. As the molten plastic flows through the die, it takes on the shape of the die's openings and exits the extruder. The resulting product, known as extrudate, is then cooled, often through water baths or cooling rolls, until it solidifies into its final form. Let's break down the key components of a plastic extruder. We have the feed pipe, feed throat, hopper, breaker plate, die, barrel, and cooling system. Here's how it works. First, material preparation. Raw materials are fed into the hopper. Second, melting and heating. The screw rotates at a controlled speed, typically up to 120 RPM, pushing the plastic beads forward in the barrel where they melt. Be aware the melt temperature ranges from around 200 to 275 degrees Celsius. Third, extrusion. The molten plastic is pushed through the die. Fourth, cooling and sizing. The extrudate is cooled using water baths or cooling rolls to solidify. Lastly, hauling and cutting. The continuous profile is pulled and cut to the desired length. Okay, let's get acquainted with the types of extrusion processes. Plastic extrusion has different processes for different applications. There are mainly four types. Tubing extrusion. It is dedicated to the formation of tubes or elongated hollow items. Blow film extrusion. This is commonly used for creating items like shopping bags. This process uses an air ring to cool and expand the extruded plastic into a bubble, then nip rollers flatten the bubble into a double-layered film extrusion. Sheet film extrusion. Similar to blow film extrusion, this process creates flat sheets of plastic. The desired shape and surface texture are achieved through a process of pulling and rolling. Overjacketing extrusion. This type of extrusion is specifically used for coating wires. It involves using pressure to cover the wire with molten plastic, depending on the required level of adhesion. As we mentioned before, plastic extrusion mainly uses thermoplastics. So what specific plastic materials can be used in plastic extrusion? Here is the list. 1. Polyethylene, PE. It is flexible and has excellent chemical resistance. It's used in packaging films, pipes, containers, and many other applications. 2. Polypropylene, PP. It excels in color versatility, impact resistance, and low temperature performance. It is used in packaging, automotive parts, textiles, and more. 3. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC. Flexible PVC offers good adaptability and weather resistance, while rigid PVC is known for its stability and impact resistance. It is an ideal replacement for traditional materials like wood and metal in products such as windows and refrigeration equipment. 4. Polystyrene, PS. Known for its rigidity and lightweight properties, it remains a top choice for insulation materials, essential packaging, and disposable tableware. 5. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, ABS. It is a tough and impact-resistant thermoplastic that's ideal for both strength and aesthetics. It's used in automotive parts, toys, and consumer electronics. 6. Polyamide, PA or nylon. This material is used almost everywhere, including in automotive parts, industrial components, and textiles. 7. Polycarbonate, PC. Its transparency and impact resistance make it a preferred material in industries requiring optical clarity. It's regularly seen in automotive components and electronic enclosures. 8. Polyethylene terephthalate, PET. PET is primarily used in the packaging of food and beverages. When selecting materials for your plastic extrusion projects, the intended use and required properties of the product are crucial. If you are unsure which material is suitable for your plastic extrusion projects, here at RapidDirect, we have professional experts for your project. Plastic extrusion is undoubtedly a popular method for high volume production. Let's explore its advantages. First of all, its main advantage is cost effectiveness. Compared to plastic injection molding, plastic extrusion lowers production costs due to its continuous operation. Once set up, the extrusion line runs continuously, reducing labor and installation costs. Great product flexibility as long as the products with consistent cross-sections. It can produce complex and consistent profiles with features such as hollow sections, reinforcements, embossing, and surface textures. 
In addition, it also offers broad material compatibility. Plastic extrusion works with a wide range of thermoplastic materials. However, some limitations should not be overlooked. First, there is the high initial setup cost. Setting up a plastic extrusion line requires a significant upfront investment, making it unsuitable for small or low volume production. In addition, extruded plastic often expands upon removal, which can cause product dimensions to deviate from what was expected. There are also product design constraints. Plastic extrusion is best suited for producing continuous profiles with a consistent cross-section and is not ideal for creating complex shapes with varying cross-sections. This video covers the basics of plastic extrusion. If you have any manufacturing questioning questions related to your products, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support us and stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching.